Alrighty guys, get out into another episode. It was the one I want. Episode 99, I do believe. Oh, hey. Oh no. Loads of friends. <laughs> so, today we just repaired the teleporter, which is just behind us there. And now we're going to talk to Ashlyn Brushtail, which is just over here. I hope you guys are having a good day and all that. Alright. You did it! Thank you for all your help. I'm going to take my things to Abbey Road right now. Tell Kay I'll paint his shield for him there. Alright, so now we're gonna do painting the shield for um for the warrior. Stilled K. <laughs> That's the one. See what he has to say. I realize the streets are overrun by frownings, but you took your time finding the Master Arms painter, didn't you? Took your time. Well, I guess it's good that it took you so long to help Ashlyn get her things and get back to Caliban. I only just found your map. Things and get to Caliban, and I just found your map. This will lead you right to Sir Trustin Silverharp's cottage in the wild. That's the nice part of the Weirwood. I'm going to Caliburn myself. Before you set off, could you distract the Hobgoblin yeah. Plunderers and Whiptail Pantera so I'll be safe? Oh yeah, we're back up to the feed these guys. Alrighty guys, looking back, so we've defeated the goblins and the whiptails, and now it's talking to Stuart K. Brave work, Squire. That map will get you where you need to go. To get into the Weirwood, however, you'll need to talk to Old Greenbeard. Okay. okay. I think we're not gonna skip out this just because it is. It's pretty close. I don't really need to. Alright, so we got Muriel Rivers. Whoa. Oh, a wizard! <laughs> you are an apprentice to the stripling Merle Ambrose, aren't you? Eating grit. <laughs> I've not heard that name in many seasons. You wish to enter the Weirwood? Mm, the path has been closed since the Froudlings attacked. I have lost one of my daughters, wizard. Oh, the wind moans that Phelan Greensleeves was captured by chaotic Logress Knights. My Phelan is but a defenseless sapling. Make the Logress Knights tell you how to find her wizard. And then, mayhaps, we can speak. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna defeat these, um, these knights. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back. And then, Alrighty guys, we're back. So we defeated the um the live people outside. And yeah, let's talk to Phelan Greensleeves. Greetings, fair squire. What can I do for you this day? Kidnapped? <laughs> Stars no. I have fallen in love with Sir Malik the Logris. Would you tell my father the happy news? Goodness no. Fallen in love with a king. <laughs> Alright, 190. Uh, I'm not gonna bother doing any like cuts or anything. Mm -hmm. Get to the door. <laughs> Oh, 
looks a bit right. Move you, move you piece. Oh yeah, oh, alright. Oh, <laughs> He's right there. Hello. Oh, what? <laughs> In love! Oh, what wonderful sun dappled news! Oh, this news is like a cool breeze through my leaves. I was distressed about my poor sapling. And instead, she is to be married. Go back at once to Sir Malik de Logres and request my invitation to their nuptials. Bloody wonderful news, eh, brother? Alright, so now we're gonna go to Sir Malik. And. Yeah, she's just over there. Oh, she's getting the help on Don't wanna bum to those guys again. Alright. So here. Come from old Greenbeard? You don't look much like a gardener. Ha! An invitation for that treant? Ha! No, I don't think so. <laughs> Those creatures spoiled this shrine to hospitality and good manners between foxes, dogs, badgers, otters, humans, and fairies. Could you imagine what they would do to my lovely estate? Tell him he is unwelcome. That's a bit rude. What the heck did he do to you, man? Jesus. Man, if I get to that time to piss off and come in anyway. <laughs> be like, yeah, no, man, I'm coming, so. Quiet me. Bloody pleb. Did they say plebs? Back in the medieval days. I'm so, I want to research that now. What? Yep. <laughs> Why, I shall raise all of the great royal wood to march to kill you and come against him. Oh, bro, that's not a choice occasion anymore. No, wait. My sap runs hot like a wildfire treant. No, we will show him our honor. And the difference between fairies and fraudlings. There you go. A red cap called Chagan Nosebiter has the shrine relics. Get them back and restore the shrine to hospitality. There you go, my dude. Don't want to fly off the handle too soon. Alright, guys, so after we. Uh, we'll be back after we defeat Chagan Nosebiter. <laughs> They all have very, very odd names. Yeah, you guys, we'll see you after. Alrighty guys, so we're back, we defeated the um, the Goblin Man, and he, we've got the sacred relic, and we restored the shrine, it's just past there. And um, yeah, now we're going to talk to old Greenbeard. You have done it? Oh, you show... Tremendous skill, wizard. Let us make one more appeal to civility. Go and tell Sir Malak de Logras what we've done. Let us see if his branches will bend. Mm. I would hate to need to disturb all my cousins in the Weirwood from their long rest. Yeah, man. Should have really just, you know, accepted it and kind of moved on. That's not how they do it. That's not how they do it, apparently. <laughs> Alright, so our next task is to go and see Sir Malik de Logras. Alright, see what he has to say after all this. He actually bloody accepts it. You restored the blessed shrine to hospitality and good manners between foxes, dogs, badgers, otters, humans, and fairies? I have been arrogant. Accept my humble apologies. Take this invitation to old Greenbeard. He is most welcome in our home. Yeah, you bloody arrogant. 
Pogs. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna go to Mr. Greenby and we're gonna skip it. This will actually be a good. Hmm. Okay, what? I'm trying to figure out what was the one that. Okay. Dang it, I don't know how... Oh, wait a minute, is it control? I don't know, I'll, I'll figure it out later. I was trying to get rid of um everything on the screen, like the shop, the house, all that. I've done it before, so, but I just can't remember how to do it. So if you guys know how to get rid of you know, the compass, the map, the... All of this stuff just for the screen. Oh jeez, I'm in a little green bit. <laughs> That'd be great. You have an invitation for me? Oh, most good tidings. Thank you, wizard. You are a paragon of the virtue of hospitality. I must get ready for the nuptials. But first, I open the path to the weirwood for you. Follow your map. You will have no trouble finding Sir Justin Silverheart's hold. Tell his wife, Sophia, you have my favor. Alright, so now we're gonna go to Sophia. So she has to say. How are you, stranger? You're in the favor of old Greenbeard. That is no easy thing to do. Perhaps then I can beg your aid for myself, wizard. The good and noble knight you seek, Sir Drustan Silverharp, was captured by a coven of witchy sisters who nest nearby. Can you venture into the White Owl Tower and rescue Sir Drustan from their vile talons? Alrighty guys, so we're back after we have rescued Sir Drustan. Boy. Alrighty guys, so we are back. We just defeated the the dude. <laughs> I don't know his name, we completely forgot it. And I'm here to Well to done, Drustin. friend! Let us return to my hold and tell Sophia the joyous news. The joyous news. Oh you have to <laughs> so open the, the gate. Quickly, uh, we can use this teleporter stone to escape. Yeah, teleporter stone. Oh guys, we were so close. So, so, so close to leveling. We're like two, at least two, two K. Two K, it's gotta be. Yeah, yeah, we're real close, all right. Oh, thank you for your kindness. You have brought my husband back when I feared all was lost. You will always be our friend. Now go speak to him of your quest. Alright, that's Sir Drustin. Ah, the noble sword of kings. When King Artorius was dying, he ordered the Knights of the Silver Rose to guard it vigilantly. I was most honored when Sir Brennan asked me to hold it. Of course I kept it safe. Straight away, I handed it over to the bravest knight in the realm, Sir Robin Bravely. Nothing could be safer. Last I heard, Sir Robin journeyed to the Fire Elf Village to help them against the Froudling army. Seek him there. In the meantime, I will head to Caliburn and see how the others are felt. Good luck, Armager! Alright, well guys, I'm gonna do a little bit more this afternoon. But, um, yeah. We are going to do go to the Fire Elf Village next. So, I'll see you guys there. Alrighty guys, we are back. And we this is not Fire Alley. Nope. <laughs> so we are back and we're gonna talk to I 
can't say that name. The Fraudlings were afraid we might help the Knights of Avalon, so they unleashed a winter worm upon us. Everything is frozen now. So Robin, but bravely, I am not sure. I was away from the village the day of the attack. I suspect he's here, under the ice. Wait, if you help me throw the village, perhaps we can find your knight. We'll need a living ember from the Fountain of Flame. You can find it on the other side of the wild. Alright, so... Oh, did I not? No! Gosh dang it. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> guys, we'll be back. Alrighty guys, so uh, we have defeated him. Now we're gonna let Cassie... The... And if you promise me a favor for another you day, I will use my magic to help get you into the White Owl Tower. White Owl Tower? Oh, yeah. You freed me! Hooray! I will ask you for your favor on another day. My name is Casey. I'm glad we are friends. Let me use my magic to help you now. Unicorn magic is always beautiful and uplifting. Sure. Climb the vine into the tower. We will meet again, student of male Ambrose. Watch out for evil owls. They are almost as bad as lemons. Well, wait, what is this place? The chamber is filled with a strange vapor that makes you feel so very sleepy. If you don't find an antidote quickly, you might sleep forever. This is contact. Alright, let's find the Santa Dart. Oh, wait a minute, potion pot. Potion pot. Am I... Really? Okay. So green and blue makes you awake. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Surely. Put it in the pot. I'm assuming. Now that you are alone, you will sleep. I'll be your undoing. Oh. oh no. Okay, guys, we'll be back after we defeat Kayla White Talon. See you around, Sierra. Alrighty, guys, we're back and we're, we're going to talk to Sierra. Sierra, I don't what know. can I do? <laughs> My family will be forever shamed. Forever shamed? My brother Brinley, the Knight of Flame, was vanquished by a cruel giant. The giant, Maudit Solban, then stole his armor. Having failed in his duties, Brinley fled to Caer Leon. Noble Almager, could you ask him to return to his role? Didn't really... 100%. So, so 200, that ain't that far, be able to get there. Yeah, 
go back down. So guys, I think we'll just talk to Brittany and then that'll be it. My sister sent you to ask me to go back there? What are you crazy? Have you ever been beaten by a giant? It's no fun. <laughs> it's no fun. I'm happy here. If Kari is vexed about the family honor, she can retrieve the armor and become the new Knight of Flame herself. Tell you that much. I ain't happy at all with that. <laughs> really? Okay. Let's go back to Sierra. So she has to say and then. Ooh. Oh, excuse he me. He said what? He said I could be the new knight of flame. Why, that would be amazing. But Brinley's armor was stolen by that giant. Could you journey to the Dread Keep and defeat Maudit Solban in order to retrieve the Knight of Flame armor for me? <laughs> Alrighty, guys, um, that's gonna be it for today, this week. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and share, and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Peace.